Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 28th of Jan. Risk off. Uh, I'm tempted to say, uh, here we go, but jury's still out. We're definitely risk off today. Um, but we talked about this last year, right? End of Jan. There has a there was a massive kerfuffle. A couple hundred handles in S and P's, um, and then we went up 180 handles, and then uh, we flushed. Let's just revisit here. End of Jan. So we went from 33.30 down to like I don't know 32.16. Um, 115 handles, and then from 32.16 we went up to 33.97. Uh, that's the 180 back up, and then we had the flush uh, 20th of Feb. Of course, this shit does not um, repeat itself. It rhymes. I don't know the historic smile. I don't know what what, what stupid metaphor you want to use, but. Just saying, patterns do kind of repeat themselves, so just be aware, right? Like, throw some chips in. Uh, you'll see we'll have some uh, risk-off setups today. Um, but don't risk your life um, for further risk-off. We've done our 100 handles, 150 handles. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway... We're risk off today. Here's the, here's the bar. It's fucking bearish, right? I mean, um, you know, any three-year-old can see all-time highs. Drops 150 uh, handles. Made a new low today, uh, marginally. Oh, three and a half. Here we are. We're at 28. This is delayed. This price is delayed. But here we are. We're at 28. A couple of charts that are of interest. Kiwi yen, <clears throat> 7435, saddles on, Aussie yen, we talked about this on Tuesday, close your fucking eyes and sold, sell Aussie yen through 79.50 I believe was the quote um, from your intrepid pal Privateer FX. And then he said, now nah, let's sell some high ones because we don't want to smash low ones on this Tuesday. That load that day was 60. Um, now we've printed 50. Seems set up for sort of a classic um, risk off European Open. 81.10 in um, CAD yen. These are all basically the same trade, CAD yen. Kiwi yen, Aussie yen. Uh, it's your standard risk off proxies. Uh, keep an eye on these levels. A lot of people asking me about gold. If we're into the great liquidation, gold's going to get hit just because a lot of people own gold. And when you get a margin call, you got to liquidate everything. And so you got to liquidate your gold. Um, so we'll see. I, I don't have a position in gold, um, but standard playbook would be liquidation first and then safe haven asset second. Let's look at this cankasaur we call Dollar Swiss. It's like herpes in your mouth. Dollar Swiss. What a fucking rag. 89.18 the high yesterday somehow like 25 did not trade how many times are we going to do this dance um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times we've, we've danced with the devil in the pale moonlight and it's been rejected at 89.20. Uh, keep that level in mind. 
Euro also. I mean, that's sort of like pretty classic, right? 120, 60, one, two, three times. Um, is this a shoulder? Is this the head? Is this a shoulder? Uh, I don't know. Nissan's candlestick book is on fire right now uh, with these two patterns, dollar Swiss and Euro dollar. Lots and lots of people are going to be are going to recognize this as a pattern and trade it. So be aware of it. 89.25. Herpes in the mouth. Dollars are should be higher. I'm not sure why it's here. Um, recent highs up here at 38. That was Tuesday's high. 37.13. 37.80. Uh, I don't know, good chance, is there a good chance we, we um, see 60 today? I don't think so, right? I mean, shit looks pretty fucking ugly out there, right? Dollars are should be higher. Uh, wonder why it's not. I'm going to buy some right here, actually. Um, 31, 30. Spreads aren't great here. Keep it light for now. Um, keep an eye on the, the recent highs, 15.38. Dollar Max <clears throat> was given the hex. Uh, Tuesday was was a ball kick, right? Down through 20, the big 20, 20 double O. And then yesterday... We were we were gliding. Someone put her down on her backside. Are we gonna get twenty sixty seven uh, revisit? Yeah, sort of looks like it. Aussie lower, bearish engulfed. Um. Shit's bearish now. I mean, we've been trying to sell Aussie and being short Aussie yen for all of January. Pretty bruised up with a lot of these green bars. Now's the time, right? Right here is like a little pivot. This, this 7620 is like your daily pivot. A lot of clear air down there. Where's where's this, where's Aussie gonna stop? Seventy three fifty maybe is your first support. But then eventually we get through seventy cents, and then we go all the way down to sixty cents. Yeah, you heard it here first. Sixty cents in Aussie. Kiwi also resisting. Um, Less bearish Kiwi. We got a little cognitive bias there. Kind of like what New Zealand uh, New Zealand does with their country and their government. Plus, they got a shit hot um, group of sailors, um, and we're partial to sailors on this channel. Um, who wants to see Dean Barker and Ben Ansley in a cage match? That'd be kind of fun two geeky, like, fairly weak sailor dudes fighting. That'd be fun. Someone, someone called Dana White, see if we can make that happen. Anyway, Kiwi, um, 70.95 is kind of your point. This is uh, sort of your change in trend moment. Still 40 points away. Uh, we'll see. Kiwi Yen uh, is really your vehicle. We're right on this. Uh, we're right on this line, Kiwi Yen. Whereas we got a ways to go for Kiwi Dollar still. Anyway, babbling a bit. Where's Bitcoin? Oh yeah, there she is. Real, real offered. Um, 
in at the low thirty thousands. I guess that means you need to buy it when it looks really, really offered. Um, we're not doing anything. Like we said a million times, we squared our Bitcoin 32.5. We're going to buy it again. I don't know, 19, 18. Um, Yellen is not a Bitcoin fan. That probably doesn't help Bitcoin. Um, but, you know, public distributed ledger, keyword there being public. So it's like flipping the bird to every government in the world. That's why we love her the old Bitcoin, um, but not, nothing to do here. I mean, if you're trying to trade this 30,000, 40,000 range, you're, um, you're a star, you're a legend. You've made 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here. You might have made 4,000 on this one. Um, now you're long again from yesterday if you bought it. Um, good for you. Uh, but she does look like she wants lower. Um, let's look at GameStop just because like, I've never really seen anything like this. Like what happens when you get a bunch of guys trading from their basement? Um, it's kind of awesome in its own sick way. GameStop went from $4 to $380. I don't even know what this, this company does. It kind of reminds me of a, a store called Video Connection. Back in 1986 in Rhode Island, they were like the first store to sell Atari games. Is that what these guys are? Are they the modern Video Connection? I don't know. Spectacular chart, though. Anyway, be interesting to see what happens to some of these hedge funds. Imagine if Melvin Capital goes bankrupt because a bunch of fucking QAnon whack jobs from their basement force up uh, GameStop like some shithole like retail stock. It's a pretty good story. Anyway, I've said enough. Aussie yen, Kiwi yen, CAD yen. Sell high ones in ES. Should be resistance um, between 50 and 77 today. 37, 50, 37, 77. We've already touched 50 once. Um, let's see. Let's see how she goes. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.